Tom Matthews here from Matthews Engineering. Um, I'm going to show how to use the foot switch uh, on the, on one of these laser marking machines. This is a 30 watt laser marking. It came with this foot switch, but uh, for the longest time couldn't get it to work. Uh, let's let's look at what it takes to get these to work. Uh, so what you need to do on EasyCAD is uh, press F3, and then uh, this screen will come up, and under Port, uh, there's a section here. Uh, called start mark IO and what I had to do a lot of videos will say use port 4 or say there's a specific port to use but basically I had to go through ports one try each one just keep trying there's only 16 here so it doesn't take more than um, you know a few minutes to try them all unfortunately mine was on port 15 so I did have to try them all but I was delighted when it worked when I found the right port um, Pulse mode, I have it off on mine. If this is on, you might get double marking where it'll mark twice, so you'll want that off, unless, unless you might have to experiment with that. Mine worked on high. Uh, if yours doesn't work, your sw foot switch may be pulling it low, but most of them, I think, are set to high. But uh, anyhow, let's see if this works here. Uh, let's go ahead and mark something. Um, let's turn the laser on. Um, I'm using this uh, Matthews Engineering uh, uh, laser shield which is kind of nice so you can work without safety glasses and look and we'll uh, we'll put a uh, part in there and uh, line it up there's the foot switch I'm gonna hit that let's see what happens so now it just works on the foot switch very nice way to work um, and uh, speeds things up and a lot better than reaching over here to try to push the F2 key every time you want to uh, mark something Tom Matthews Matthews engineering